Why do I play The Huge Revolution is over? Why not play Starlight Road? Why not get a free Stardust Dragon, which means a free Negate and a 2500 beater? A lot of reasons. Stardust sucks. Nobody goes for Stardust. Except for Dragoonities. I don't get why. Why don't you just go for, like, Scrap Dragon and pop one of your worthless cards, like Legionnaire or Alkis or whatever it's called. So, what's Starlight, what does Starlight Road do, you, might, you may ask? Oh, well, see, Starlight Road, when a card or effect is activated, it destroys two or more cards you control. Make it the activation and destroy it. And you can special summon one Stardust Dragon from your extra deck. So, your opponent Dark Holes, you have all your cards. Starlight, get another card. Your opponent gets mad at you because you still have your back row as well. Or if you, he heavied, I mean, or just Dark Holes, then, you know, you get your, also get a Stardust, which is also a free negate. I hate stars as an effect so much. What's a spell trap? When a spell trap or a spell trap. Watch out for those spell traps. As you can clearly see, spell trap. You know, just got, kind of just got to press control and mash them both together. And eventually it'll give you spell trap option. Yeah. Screw you. Um, I don't know. It's probably because like a chain or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's probably what it is. Or an effect monster, you know. Most of you are probably familiar with Stardust Dragon. Anyway. Huge Revo. When a spell or trap card on the or effect monster act, is activated, that destroys two or more cards on the field, negate the activation and ban it, banish it. All right. So these are meta cards. And no, and no, and no, and no, and no. Meta, meta, meta. Sometimes. All right. So what? What's? What does this mean? Wow. West Coast Kiwi. West Coast Kiwi. Teacher, why, 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 why is this better? You get free stuff. You get free Stardust Dragon. Free Stardust Dragon. Come on, come on, man. Stardust Dragon. Too good. Mummy, mum, mum. Too good. Too good. No, it's not. All right. So a lot of options with Starlight Road will be awful. Stardust Dragon's a semi nomi monster. Any deck, any card coming out from your extra deck is either sem is semi nomi unless stated otherwise. And if it is stated otherwise, then it is a nomi monster. There is no chance that it is a normal summonable no monster. This means that if you special summon, you didn't synchro summon it. This will not return after your negate. You can, if let's say someone special summons some card from their extra deck, Veyu, Veyu Turbo. If your opponent says. Oh, I, I'm just I'm just reborning the card that I got with Veyu. No, you're cheating. No, you did not properly synchro summon. You special summoned it. That's not a real card. That's not a real summon. So you can't reborn that. Semi no me. Yo, yo so. You only summon once when you don't not do a normal proper summon on a semi no me monster. As far as what a no me monster is, I'll show you in the extra deck. Let me show you Ab Salute Absol. Love Absol. Badass Pokemon. Absolute end. I like that artwork. I like all the Gaga Gigio artwork. Those are actually pretty cool. So, Absolute Zero. Must be Fusion Summon and cannot be special summoned by other ways. That means it's a Nomi monster. So, that is not a semi Nomi. Unlike most cards like Black Rose, Thunder End, Drac. These are all. Those are all semi Nomi. So, what happens with Starlight Road is it'll destroy it inside of the graveyard. But one thing that you should notice that destroys two or more cards, you, you control, need the activation and destroy it. So, you know, I'm chilling. I got my black luster, right? Me and my, I'm chilling with my BLS. My opponent has Torrential Tribute and Sangan. So I got no back row other than my star dust i mean starlight road my opponent this this torrential has been set for a while my opponent is going to summon his sangan and i'm minus in the hand i have nothing else so is he but in a world where yadagarasu is legal he's gonna summon his sangan activate torrential tribute bls goes bye bye and he gets his yadagarasu and i lose it makes me a sad panda because starlight road only negates ones that destroyer two or more cards I control. So I'm in a pretty bad position now because he's a little cheater. Yadagarasu, stay banned forever, I hate you. But if we had something like the huge revolution is over, 
you'd win. Because your opponent would say, Oh, you can't do that. It's two cards you control. Oh, no. Well, he'd be wrong. Because the thing is, this negates two or more cards on the field. On the field. That includes monsters your opponent controls. And one thing you will notice with Sangan is to the graveyard. If you if you Starlight Road, it'll, you know, well, you can't Starlight Road to Sangan, but normally that would just be sent to the graveyard. But as an added plus, literally, ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. I'm so funny, right? But what it really does is it banishes it. And, okay, I also want to mention something after. I'm just not going to, but I don't want to stop my train right now. My train of thought. It banishes it. That means Sangan doesn't get its search. What can Sangan search for, you ask? You bell. It's a jerk. A lot of other cards. So just keep that in mind. Now, what I was going to get onto was notice what Starlight Road says. Negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Now, that's not a good thing, because a lot of cards can't be destroyed by card effects. And that means, I mean, you'll negate the activation, um, but you don't get to destroy that card. While a card like The Huge Revolution is over, that's also a nice artwork series, the, well, you can't see my mouse right now, but I'm kind of pointing over to my to the king over here. Um, you get to see the you get to banish it and and it just banishes it, doesn't destroy it. So a card, well, I mean, Tyrus wouldn't even be in this situation, but let's say Tyrus gets a new effect where it destroys two. Don't do that. Tyrus is already good. Adrius is better. Adrius 2013. Anyway, you'll negate it and banish it. You're not destroying it, so it doesn't even matter. Actually, actually, I think it's just all uh, right. If it's just unaffected, then sorry, I don't know. I'm done. But I'll just negate it. it doesn't matter if it can't be destroyed by card effects. It says screw you. I'm going home. I'm not gonna even destroy you because I'm too cool. Hipster huge revolution. So that's why Stardust Starlight Road is just in my opinion a worse card. This is anywhere on the field. Your opponent can't pro heavy and get all the silver sentinels in the graveyard and then go and rape your field and when you only have one set card which is starlight road because don't know why you just have that so pro bluff you know pro heavy in my opinion the most pro set card is pot of avarice yeah i don't know it always happens to me and i always end up doing that but if you had the huge revo you're gonna be like nah i'm not letting you do that because you're destroying your own cards as well they're on the field so that's just one thing where I think that, I mean, in my opinion, the huge revolution is over shines. Thunder and Dragon, semi nomi monster. So, I hear you like Thunder and Dragons, 3000 beater. So, I see you have that 25 out there. Well, let me just reborn my Thunder and Dragon. Banned reborn, by the way. I hate reborn. But it can still be called with the haunted and stuff. You know, get him out, just run over that thing, get 500 damage in, you're minus one back, you're minus a back row. Fire King High Avatar Garunix. During standby phase, when this card is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, special summon this card from the graveyard, and if you do, destroy all of the monsters on the field. And yeah. So, what does that mean? You have. So, you d negate Avatar Garunix's effect to, to destroy all other monsters on the field with your Starlight Road. Okay, well, you're destroying it, keep in mind. So, it's just going to come back again. Oh, you have your Stardust Dragon out, you're going to negate that? I believe this destroys? Negate that, and you do destroy it. Can it come back again? You stalled for two turns, Runix is back, you're minus, he's doing just fine, and you're in a bad position. Huge Revolution is over. This card absolutely wrecks it. People are trying to side this card in. I'm happy. I love this card. It's a cool card. It banishes it. It doesn't even destroy it. So, even if this card gets its wording changed to be even worse than ever, and it can be special summoned from the banished, you're not going to get that effect, considering it was never destroyed. It was just straight up banished. Black Rose Dragon. Black Rose Dragon. Great card. First effect's what it's used for. When a synchro summon, destroy all monsters on the field. Then, if you're playing a plant variety, Debris plus Dandy is the easiest way to get this out ever. 
You can remove from one plant type monster, change one defense position to your into face of attack position and reduce its stack to zero till the end phase. I have won a game with this Black Rose effect. It's a great, it's a really good effect that people overlook. This card is semi-nomi, means you blow up the field, your opponent sets one, now it's your turn. You monster reborn this thing or call the haunted it and then you use its effect. Considering you're playing plants, you know, banish a Notoria ch Cherries, and then Mado will use Spore, a Dandy if you're stupid. You don't want Dandy anymore, which, I don't know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. And you kill them, well, that's gonna be sad. But this card's in the banish zone. Levier, the Sea Dragon, can't get him back because that is more than four levels. So, sad boy. Light Swarms. Very common card run by Light Swarms is a card called Monster Reincarnation. As Judgment Dragon here is a Nomi monster, you cannot special summon it from the graveyard. It can only be special summoned by its own effect. This means you can't reborn it or something like that. Starlight Road. You negate Judgment Dragon's effect to destroy your whole field and everything you love in life? Alright, well I'm just going to monster reincarnation for it and get it back. Sad Panda you. It's banished? No. It's never coming back. Ever, ever. Keep that in mind. Judgment Dragon doesn't like that card. Judgment Dragon does not like the Huge Revolution in the slightest. I like Steel Swarms. Hercules is an awful card. Don't run Hercules ever, ever, ever. Nobody runs Hercules. I don't know why I'm even going over this. But if you get out the most awful card in Steel Swarms, the only good boss monster is cost... It's... it's Alright, this is going to bother me, so I'm just going to show you guys a little thing. The only good boss monster... Well, really good is Gear Stog. And to some point, cost dog because he is a moth target, and he has a pretty good effect, and it only requires two tributes, which can get pretty dished out pretty easily with a Steel Swarm Cell plus a Steel Swarm Scout. Most likely, I'll be doing some Steel Swarm duels. Cool deck. I like him. Then, um, Hercules, and then even though it's a Nomi monster, eh, it's just gonna... No. Whatever. I, I don't. This doesn't. Is this isn't a good example at all? I don't know. Go away. Levia Dragon Daedalus. Sun Moon Umi. Destroy all other cards on the field. This is a normal monster. You can do whatever you want with it. Just bring it back. Bring it back. Bring sexy back. Bring sexy back. Just keep doing that over and over and over. And you can't do anything about it because Starlight Road just sends it to the graveyard. Oh, it's banished. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not getting that back. If uh, for some reason. Konami loses their shit and brings back that one card that we all love, which I'm forgetting the name and I'm stalling for right now until I remember it. Oh, hey, it's Hades. Hi, Hi Hades. Gosh, what is it called? Dark Strike Fighter. Demise, um, Demise Salvo OTK. You get Demise out, you clear your opponent's field, you get you use Salvo to get out a Dark Strike Fighter, you attack with both, use its effect, tribute both, you win. No. It, this will just be a set to the graveyard. And as Demise, King of Armageddon, is a semi-nomi monster, as all, rit, rit, all ritual monsters are, unless there is one I do not know about, which is a nomi, you're just gonna get you can just get him back and do it. Drac Meteor. This is a nice card. It really is. It's a Black Rose Dragon, that, and then it gets back a tuner. You know, that's not very good that it, you have to do it, because it's not an optional effect, but he's getting banished, and you can't do any Drac shenanigans. Alright, well that's my video on why I run the Huge Revolution is over, plus Star, um, versus Starlight Road. Also, Stardust Dragon takes up a takes up a big, whopping 1 15th of your extra deck that you probably wouldn't use for him, because he sucks. So, keep in mind... Revolutions aren't good when they're happening in Yu-Gi-Oh. Make them, make them go over. Starlight Road sucks. Never run it.